Hello everyone and welcome to Harv's World for the next episode of Ravensburg. Yep, we are back and it is spring again. Although you almost can't tell, there's still so much bloody snow on the ground. This morning I am just finishing up cattle care. Remember how I keep saying I don't want to spend a lot of money because you never know when expenses are going to come in? Well, I had a big one. <laughs> Our... Uh, Straw spreader went kaput, very kaput, and so I ended up shelling out 25 grand. I mean, this is something I use almost every day, so it's not like I could avoid buying one. Leasing one just wouldn't have made sense. I use it all the time, so it was an absolute necessity. So that's 25 grand out of pocket, but, you know, at this point, this one should last a good long while. Brand spanking new. So, there were a couple days of uh, winter left, and we probably should catch up on those. They weren't too spectacular, let me tell you. Um, more logging, obviously. Well, the day before yesterday, um, I pretty much spent on cattle care. Actually, um, manure. <laughs> Moving manure. I loaded up two trailers of manure, and I'm going to tell you, this was... Uh, very honest playthrough. I made sure time was set at 15 times. I didn't didn't take any cheats. I didn't work past like 9 o'clock at night when it got too dark and stuff like that. Anyhow, I did in fact um, sell two trailer loads of manure. That didn't bring in a lot of money. And then the last day of winter, I just logged as much as I could. And well, we'll just take a quick look here. You can see. I did haul some lumber. Oh, the, the day I worked on the cattle, I did haul some lumber, so we did get some in that day. Um, then the next day, I think I hauled three loads after cutting it all, and then I had the biogas plant income. So anyway, we are at $351,000, which provides me with some options. And we have to love options. To get this farm moving forward, absolutely, positively. Frau Baumann needs her cattle to uh, to start producing. But on the positive side there, well, at least a hundred head of our cattle are now pregnant. I just went through and uh, double checked that and it was actually easier to count which ones aren't going to produce offspring than are. So we're going to pretty much double the size of our herd over the course of this year. Uh, in the next few months, I expect by summer we'll start to see some uh, some new calves coming. So that's that's a big plus, which also means the milk will start to flow and we'll have that income. Thank goodness. Hopefully I can rely on that. Now, I have to tell you this great story. I'll wait until I get my business done here on the shop, at the shop. I need to pick up a few things because I did get enough trees cleared that I can start making use of some land, but it's not quite prepped yet. Obviously, there's still a lot of snow on the ground, so there's not much I can do in the fields just yet. Although, to be fair, the two fields that I currently own are uh, are completely ready to go. We're just waiting for them to harvest. So, I'm coming down here, and I'm going to replace the trees that Frau Baumann wanted me to replace and make sure that there was a lovely bit of... Uh, <laughs> a lovely uh, scenic drive along that main road. So I'm going to grab a tree planter. Uh, we'll lease that bad boy up. And then, because of all that snow, I couldn't really see the stumps. So I'm going to grab a stump grinder also. I don't need a work light. And we'll lease that bad boy up. This is nice and cheap. I, if I were going to do more logging... I would probably just buy that, but I don't see where I am. And then I just need about 20, 20 seedlings, 20 saplings will do me, so we'll buy those up, absolutely. Okay, uh, let's see what we got here. One thing that needs to happen, as you can see, after all that snow, snow is not uh, easy on equipment, let me tell you. I need to do some spring cleaning, get this equipment all cleaned up and ready for uh, some hard work over the the spring and uh, summer months here, potentially fall. 
Oh, that totally loaded backwards. Uh, okay, well, we'll just do it this way. Fine. You want to be stubborn? I can be stubborn, too. There we go. So, what happened? Well, <clears throat> this is an interesting story, actually. It was actually rather fun. I, ha I have to admit, I had some fun with this one. <laughs> and we'll just pull right back up to our pallet of saplings and load those on there. Very good. Okay. So, yesterday... <clears throat> I was cutting trees, and Frau, or Harry Huber called me up. Now, I don't know. You know, he let me go. He didn't like my history, my past. And I don't know what he was planning to do to replace me, or, you know, I don't know what he did. I do know one thing, that very little work has gotten done over there. Like, I don't know if you recall, but I, I planted that new field for him. I was just putting a crop in there until I could uh, switch it over to grass. Um, I got all of his fields planted. Well, none of those fields got harvested. No new cow shelter got built. He's overflowing with cattle at the moment. He's got more cattle now because all of his uh, pregnant cattle have started giving birth than he's got room for. And he called me up in a panic, and he's, you know, he's like, you know, can you come back to work for me for just a, a few days and get things settled again? Yada, yada, yada. And I said, well, I'm working for Frau Bauman now, and first of all, he'd have to get approval from her for me to do that. And second of all, um... You know, I'm dedicated to getting Frau Baumann, her farm, up and running. So, in order for me to do that, you would have to uh, give her 20 head of cattle. And he said, you know, for a couple of days of work, 20 head of cattle was ridiculous. He said, I'll give, you, I'll give her 10. I said, 30. He said, 15. I said, 40. He said, fine, 20. I said, no, now it's 50. <laughs> And man, you could you could you could hear in his voice how red his face was getting. You could just tell it was a beautiful, beautiful thing. Ah, uh, that was that was just too much fun. So, needless to say, there will be uh, no work for Herr Huber. And I don't owe him anything. I mean, he, the guy fired me. What you know? What does he think I'm going to do? Just come back and go? Oh, it's okay. It's fine. I understand why you did it. I do understand why you did it. I totally got it at the time, but that doesn't mean I'm going to be great. Or, you know, I'm, I was gracious about it at the time, but that doesn't mean I'm just going to like, you know, let the guy do whatever he wants to do. No way. You know, he's a he's a huge he's a huge dairy operation it's not my fault he didn't plan you know his failure to plan does not constitute my my emergency so boom bob's your uncle done oh and uh <clears throat> yes he was he was so mad he took back the car <laughs> which you know uh, it was nice having the car who knows maybe i'll get one of my own but yeah he he took the car back he took the little Unimog Mercedes Benz. Now I'm not clearing all these stumps right now. I'm just trying to clear this area enough so that I can get the trees back in um, that, that uh, Frau Baumann wants for her scenic drive. These are going to take quite some time to regrow anyway. So I might as well get them in early. And then I'm going to look at where my options are. Where do I stand as far as spending some of this money now I don't want to get too crazy with it well yeah but I think between this land here that I've cleared off and a few other spots there's there are plenty of available fields nearby and I would like to take advantage of that and I'm just trying to clear enough right here right now to uh, 
Oh, see, there's a stump that I would have wanted to get rid of. To get my trees planted. Got a few little sticks left laying around out here, too. Might as well just chew those up, get them out of the way. So I don't think I'll be hearing from Herr Huber any time in, uh, in the near future. And so much the better. I suppose I could have tried to, uh, to get him to, uh, give me that, that, uh, conveyor belt system. That would have been more than the cattle I was demanding, though. Oh, well. It's neither here nor there. Okay, that's gonna do enough to allow me to plant my trees. Oh, there's a little twiggy I can get rid of. Oh, really? I don't have access to the land? Then I will move the twiggy to the land I do have access to. I can't tell you this, though. I can tell you that I think Herr Huber has got his work cut out for him as far as um, getting his his cattle operation back in order. I mean, I had things set up over there really nicely and ready to go, and if you know, all he needed was one person to come in and follow my instruction, and he would have been all set. But... He, uh, he didn't want to go there. He, he wasn't interested in hearing it, so... Now it's his problem. I'm not going to worry about it. You don't get to just fire me and then pretend like, uh... Like things are going to be all buddy-buddy again. That man needs to get over himself. Alright, I'm just going to try to run a nice straight line right about through here. Plant, or space these quite nicely, hopefully. Fingers crossed. I want to make sure I'm just on the right line. That ought to do. Alright, so we're going to fire up our tree planter. I'm going to drop it down. Hopefully the ground's not too frozen for this. Nope. Went right in. Perfect. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, we don't want a two meter planting distance. Well, lesson learned. I'm going to have a nice row of very tiny trees right here. See this? <laughs> Forgot to set the planting distance. So, in the base game, as I recall, it doesn't give you the option to set the planting distance, but in seasons, the growth on these trees very much determines is determined by how close together they are. I wonder if there's any way for me to just cut them out now. Nope, I guess not. I'll just double check. Nope. I could probably plow them out. Hmm. I'll just leave them and see what happens. But from this point forward, we're going to do six meters. That should give them enough space to grow up nicely and be scenic but without getting too crazy big. And I should still have enough trees to get through the end of this, so no worries. Moving on from here. Yes, that's that's much better. I do want to try to keep them straight, though. I guess I could have thrown some GPS on there. One more. There we go. Okay. The trees be planted. Now oh, I got another twiggy out here that's getting hung up in my tire. 
Go away, Twiggy. Go away. Okay. Well, let me go ahead and return this tree planter. Okay, so the tree planter has been sent back to the shop, and let's look at our options right now. I'm not going to get all of this work today, so I do want to look at my land options. Now, there are some nice fields up in this area. And I was really considering field number six. It's 164,000 euros. Not bad. But it's withered right now, and it would need a complete rework. That's not bad at 162, but I'm really kind of more interested in these three fields up here. And I'll tell you why. Because they've already got crop in them. One of them's got barley. One of them has rye, number four, and number five has corn. So that's good. Three and four need lime and probably complete fertilizer jobs, pretty much. Field five needs complete fertilizer. And then as far as growth goes, well, three's ready to harvest. So that doesn't seem like a good option. Four is getting pretty late and going to be ready to harvest soon. Five still has a little bit of time on it. I think five is the way I want to go. It's got corn, which would give me some good cash, and I still have time to get the three layers of fertilizer on it that it's going to need in order to uh, be a, a complete harvest. So I think I'm going to go ahead and spend the 202,000 euros and grab field five. So there we go. We have just expanded our lands. And yes, I'm going to leave that uh, stump grinder out here for just a little bit because I want to grab the fertilizer spreader. Because field five is going to need three applications. Now, like I said, I did, I did manage fertilizer one day, hauled a couple of full loads from the trailer, and... Uh, but at that point, I didn't want to get rid of any more simply because, and look at that, our snow's finally melting off. Hallelujah. A few piles left over here and there, but... But yeah, I didn't want to sell off any more manure because I knew with spring coming up, we're going to start to use it up about as quickly as we can make it. I'm also completely out of straw, except what's left in the straw blower. So I'm hoping, you know I planted that one field specifically, well, for a little bit of cash to come in, but also to make sure that um, it produced straw for me. That was an important, an important consideration in that. So this is our field five. It looks pretty darn good too, and it's a good size. It should net us a, a respectable income. I should hope so, anyway. Let's get some uh, GPS action working here. I thought I was going to be off just a little bit. There we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. That ought to be closer to the truth. Yep, that looks much better. Okay. Manure, here we come. And we are definitely going to be going through it. Very, very quickly. Look at this. This is, this is a really nice sized field. Plus, you know what else I like about this now, actually? Now that I think about it, there is a good piece of pasture right next to it. So when I'm ready to expand Frau ba or expand Frau Bauman's cattle herd, I've got a nice pasture sitting there that um, could be utilized for any number of things, and it's fairly level to start out with, so it could be really, really helpful to us. Like I said, day two of spring, I wanted to get some spring cleaning done. I want this equipment all cleaned up, ready for. A hard work in spring and summer or well, some hard work in spring and summer seasons that's the goal anyway yeah looks pretty good 
Now the cornfield has a single coat of fertilizer. I need to keep a real close eye on that because, I mean, as you know, you can't fertilize back to back. And what I may need to do is use a different type of fertilizer for the second application and then come back in with the manure for the third application. So when we're talking about field states, fertilizer states, you can't use the same type of fertilizer back to back, but I can use, say, manure, then I could come back in with a chemical fertilizer, either liquid or solid, fertilize that field a second time, and then come back in again with manure for a third pass. So I might just need to do that. Um, to get the three required applications for that seasons requires. We'll see. We're going to look into that. Um, you know, if it if that field progresses too much today, either the second or third application will definitely most likely be chemical fertilizer, which I do have some stored up. So that shouldn't be too much of a problem. At least I think I have some stored up. Wait, maybe I don't. That was I. I might be thinking of lime. Regardless, I am loaded for bear with the manure. <laughs> and our tractors are looking like they're in good shape. My big goal for today, and I'll be keeping an eye on our fields because, well, they're coming along. There's our clover field. It's looking, uh, looking really close. Looks very good. And then, let's see, this was Triticale here. And it's coming along quite nicely also. But I think my big goal for today is to finish de-stumping that area over there and maybe get a plow in and start creating some type of field that I can use. I haven't decided what I'm going to do completely with that yet. Um, you know, originally I was thinking about turning it into pasture because when our, you know, when my my cattle get too full whatever you want to, you know, when my uh, my barn gets too full of cattle, which, you know, they are, they are producing very quickly now, um, or will be very soon, then I'm going to need space, a place to move them, which is why I was eyeing that uh, cattle, or that, you know, that grass pasture over there by field five, because it looks much more nice and level which in turn would give me a, a much easier way to place some additional uh, room for cattle. So, I don't know. A lot of different options. A lot of different things that are going to need to be sorted out to get this uh, cattle operation up to speed. Right now, I'm just going to de-stump this and then see where we stand. Well, that takes care of de-stumpification. <laughs> get your stumps out of here although I have to tell you and I've said this many many times before too many times before stumps are sneaky stumps are very very sneaky and um, they will come up and bite you on the butt <laughs> especially with all the nasty scrub bushes and all of that over in that area there could be one or two hidden around there that'll try to break my plow. That's what I need next. I was actually pleased to see that it didn't take nearly as long as I thought it, it might. This is going to be a good spring. Things are starting off well. Got a new cornfield. Got my trees planted that uh, Frau Baumann wanted. I got to rub Herr Huber's nose in it just a little bit. <laughs> oh, that was fun. I can't tell you how much fun it was messing with that guy. You know you know what they say about paybacks. I can't say it here, but... Revenge is best served cold. Let's just go with that. Revenge is best served cold. Alright, let's drop this thing off. Sorry, I'm not cleaning up for you fellas, but... Um, well, you'll be alright. Okay, let's find out what our plow options are. I don't even know what I've got anymore. 
I'll be honest with you. Actually, I want a cultivator because I know I can do this with a cultivator and I can get a lot more done in a shorter amount of time. I don't want to get crazy with the cost on it, though. Well, I forgot I had these uh, John Deere shank plows installed, so I think that's where we're going to go because, quite frankly, I have the horsepower to pull and they're cheap. And I need cheap. I need to make this money run as long as possible because there's not going to be much more in the way of income until we get to harvest. So, yeah, 854, you bet I'm going to lease that. Get back up to the farm. Let's see what we can do on that area. Okay. So, we're going to make a new field right here. And I really want to be aware of where I planted my bloody saplings because I don't want, when those grow up, they're going to be in the way. And I don't want to get the field too close to those. So I think I'm going to pull up just a little bit more. Say about right here. Yeah, I think that'll do me. And make sure that I have create fields turned on. Yep, I'm going to drop that bad boy right down to the ground. And away we go. And I'm not, I'm not too worried about straight edges on this one. In fact, I'll probably push this right out to the road just to maximize the area that I can utilize. For now, I just want to get the first pass in and kind of see where things stand. About like so. And then down here, I do want to leave some working room. There's a road there. That's probably going to be good enough. Not even probably. That's good enough. So on this pass, I would definitely want to make sure I'm lined up nice and neat. With the road though, so that's not going to be at a proper angle. Yeah, about like so. I think that, that should do us nicely. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'll come in and mow out all these nasty scrub bushes. I don't want to get super close to the tree line here either, so we're going to run that. Alright, there we go. Not bad. Not bad at all. Now, it is pretty small, and I've been thinking about this, and like I said earlier, we're going to double the size of this cattle herd in a very short amount of time. I'm talking uh, three months, the next three to four months. So... Well, six months. We'll, we'll call it six months just to be safe. So, I'm just going to plant that, I mean, into a, a pasture. It's going to be some, some nice grass pasture um, to provide some additional... What? <laughs> what happened there? <laughs> oh, man. Um, some nice uh, yeah, grass pasture in there to provide some hay, some additional hay. Maybe silage if I need it some extra WCS as we're playing uh, Maze Plus. It would be WCS and not just regular silage. Anyway, so at this point I uh, need to get some fertilizer on that bad boy. I need to get lime on there and then I need to get it planted up. Probably a little bit of weed control to get started. And it's already three o'clock. Man, time flies. Time just rips right on by. Oh, well, there goes another sign. Anybody running a sign counter out there? How many signs? How many signs have been... That would actually be interesting to know. It's one of those common things that happen to folks when they're driving around towns. Is How many signs have been lost during these, uh, these playthroughs? Total. Like, grand total. Everybody who's ever played at any given time. How many signs have they completely destroyed? I, I would get a little chuckle out of knowing that. <laughs> okay. Well, we can turn the plow in. We don't need that anymore. Good. That wasn't an overpriced option. Well, I hoped I would have enough manure to finish off this field, but I don't. Darn it. 
So it looks like another trip over to load. I was just going to knock that out really quick and uh, maybe have time to get the lime on today. That doesn't look like it's really going to happen though, darn it. Grumble, grumble, grumble. And so much for that spring cleaning. <laughs> this tractor's already getting filthy. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? I mean, you know, that's that's one thing. You know, I, I appreciate keeping equipment clean as much as the next person. But, you know, I run it in a field for five minutes and it, it's just filthy. And so, you know, I, I'm not terribly inclined to wash it every time I use it. If a little bit of dirt builds up, that just protects the paint, right? That's, that's the way I'm, that's what I'm going to call it. Paint protection. There you go. All right. Well, I am going to finish the new field. See what other work there is to do around here. Cows are probably going to need a little bit of attention by the end of the day. I just, I fed them yesterday, but that's only good for about two days. So that's where we stand on the second day of spring. We've got a brand new cornfield that needs some fertilizer before it comes ready to harvest. I need to pay, I should check that really quick. Let me check that really quick. And I've got my grass turned on because I wanted to see what was available. Okay. It still looks, yeah, it's still in the second stage of growth, so it has not prepared itself yet for another state of manure, at least. So I'm probably going to have to do that chemical fertilizer. Not an problem. Um, we got a new field plowed up. I'm ready to add some grass because we are going to need additional grass and hay. Well, silage and hay for our over 200 head of cattle that we should have by the end of this year. Milk should start helping to pay some of the expenses off on this stuff. And the, the good thing about the cattle, man, we have no shortage of uh, homemade fertilizer. We're just going to call it that homemade fertilizer. So I'm going to knock out this last field. Maybe see uh, if anybody's got work I can do around the around Ravensburg. Bring in a little extra cash for the farm. But I think that's going to do it for this episode of Ravensburg. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons down below. I very much appreciate you coming along for the ride. And until next time, take care.